Hello guys, killing 7 here, and welcome to Let's Play A Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we, um, retrieved the Ice Rod, the Power Mitt, or the Power Glove, it's so bad, and, um, the, um, the Pendant of uh, Power, so, in this next episode, we are going to actually do some side quests here, um, instead of searching for the next Pendant. I've already taken the time to walk back to the, san the Sanctuary to save you some time. Um, because our next destination is very, very close. So, uh, let us, uh, continue, uh, our adventure this way. Um, so instead of, uh, getting the power bracelet, not power bracelet, the power, the pendant, blah, blah, we're gonna, uh, get something, you know, a little better, I like. A little more useful anyway, I guess, in the long run. Um, so we need to actually head toward the witch's house to do this. Uh, there was an old man, if you remember. I'll try to... Block that. Oh shoot. <laughs> there was an old man in uh, that uh, pub in um, uh, Kakariko Village that said there was, you know, a water, f you know, a wishing well. Well, we need uh, something, you know, with a fairy. Well, we need a certain item to get to that wishing well, which we will be getting today. So we can actually freeze those guys, but it's not really worth it. Um, we need to um, focus on what we're doing now. So, um, let's see, there is a crab, and the crabs here are not as annoying as they were in Mario Kart Wii. Uh, remember that waterfall up there, guys? That is a very, very nice waterfall. You will see why. Okay, so let's go up here, and this is Zora Falls, where nothing but Zoras. <laughs> and these guys will, you know, crawl everywhere. Again, when I was little, this place freaked me out. Uh, I was like six or seven or so when this game, when I started playing this game. Now I was like five. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm old. <laughs> uh, very old. Um, but these guys are pretty easy to take out now. And you can pick them up too and throw them at their comrades for insta kills, which is very nice. So let's, uh, let's nail that dude over there too and sink the other one. Ow. Um, shot by a fireball, and let's, uh, let's head on down this way here. You gonna take the farthest pass, and I just threw him like a football, and a fish popped out. Okay. Um, so let's take the farthest pass here, try not to fall into the water. Um, and let's go up here, and the ground is shaking for some whatever reason. Oh boy, we get a massive Zora. Wahaha, what do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want flippers. I have no idea why, you know, he says, yeah, I just want flippers. I think someone in the game will tell you that, you know, you can get flippers um, from this guy here. So, say yes, and wah ha ha ha, but I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. You can buy snorkeling gear, you know, relatively okay gear for about 50 bucks. This is a ripoff, but whatever. We want these rupees, and we want them bad, so... Wah ha ha ha, one pair of flippers coming up and I will give you a free bonus with your purchase. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I will let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers. You see Whirlpool dive into it? Okay. No, I don't know where we'll surface, but whatever. So let's collect our flippers and you can't miss them. They're not going to fall into the water. They just land right there and you can't move around. So you got the Azora flippers and we can finally swim. Uh, so yeah, like so. Uh, I think in the Game Boy Advance version, you can dive underwater, but not in this version. So let's, uh, let's drop down this waterfall here. And you saw a piece of heart when we were coming up uh, the river, so let's, uh, let's try to get that right over here. And we have collected our eighth heart piece. Um, yeah, our eighth, our eighth piece of heart to make another full container. We already have uh, eight at the moment, which is awesome. No, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's eight. All right, so I'm not blind yet. <laughs> All right, so let us uh, let's draw down that waterfall here, and there's nothing else we can do here. Uh, I love this area. I love the way that the trees look. It's so cool. And this is the only area that has trees like that. So, all right, so let us leave Zora Falls, and we are going to check out that um out uh, that um uh, that waterfall right up here. So it looks kind of suspicious. Let's, let's swim a bit and look at that. We can stand and take a nice little shower. Alright, so let's go on inside of here, and hello, there's a little pond, mysterious pond, won't you throw something in it? Alright, let's throw something, um, I want, I, I hate this thing right here, I want to get rid of it. So we're chucking the boomerang, and, uh, hello, fairy! Yeah, did I, um, yes, I did? 
I like an honest person that will give you something better in turn. Ooh, do we get a gun? Link doesn't get guns. All right, we get an upgraded boomerang, a magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and farther than your old one. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. Um, it's not gonna get a lot of use because the boomerang has, you know, basically become useless except for getting like you know far away keys and whatnot. So let's uh, let's see if she'll give us anything better. And our shield um, is looking kind of small and dinky. Uh, you won't, you wouldn't. I don't want to throw that in. You might actually not appear. So let's let's give this guy a shot here. Chuck our shield in there. And. Oh, and hello again, ma'am. Uh, yes, I did drop this. Why? You won't do anything. Oh, you give me something better? Oh, very nice, very nice. And we get the upgraded round shield. Your shield is improved. You can defend yourself against fireballs. Those fireballs that those aura shoot us, we can now defend against them. And the shield is bigger, so, um, you can, um, you know, it has a bigger range, basically. Alright, so yeah, we can even dodge him or block him underwater when we're swimming, which is really nice. So, Zora, the King Zora, was talking about, um, ow, talking about these whirlpools that you can use to float around. So, if a Zora doesn't pop out of a whirlpool like that, then it means you can use it to, you know, go different places. Alright, so this is where the rupees have come into place. Um, you know, to buy the flippers, you need 500. And you're gonna need a lot of rupees for this upcoming part here. So let's go in here quickly. Um, this is Pond of Happiness. I think this is what they were talking about. Um, you know, the pond. Or it might have been the other one, I don't know. We'll see. So throw some rupees in here. Oh, sure, why not? Let's, uh, let's throw in 20. Um, and nothing happens. Okay. Um... I had big trouble. Oh crap. Okay. Well, let's um I'm feeling a little more giving. I've got a ton of cash right now, so let's uh, let's throw in some more. Why don't we do that? I'll throw in another 20. We'll see. Does anything happen? No. Um I'm, I'm happier again though for some reason, so I'm still in big trouble though. Alrighty. Um so let's uh, let's let's throw in some more. I'm a, I'm a giving person. I lend people money sometimes. Let's throw in another 20. Uh, total happiness is 60. I wonder if, what happens if we hit 100. Well, we'll have good luck now. That's good, I guess. So let's, let's throw in another 40. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, two strikes with the running dash. We'll get the meshes to appear again. We'll throw in some more. Alright, so hope, I hope we can throw in more rubies uh, next time. Um, let's see. We can have great luck today. That's nice. And I see a suspicious looking crack over there. We'll check it out in a second. Alright, so, I want a few more. Uh, this should make a hundred. Let's see. Hello! Um, ooh, we get an upgrade? How oh, sweet of you. So, yes, if you throw in a hundred rupees, you can upgrade your bombs or your arrows. Um, so we'll, we'll do bombs this time. So, uh, 15 is the max at the moment. So, instead of 10, we can now carry 15, which is great. Um, this is just a small happiness I can give you. Well, alright, so I guess what she's saying is if we, uh, you know, drop more cash and she'll give us more goodies. Alright, that's, that's a good way to uh, think of it, I guess. So if you bomb that wall, you can find a bunch of fairies in here, so, uh, let's, let's try that again. Um, let's, uh, let's ramp her well. And, yeah, let's see, how many can we throw? We can throw in either 25 or 50, so it's way, way easier to now, you know, um, to now throw in uh, rupees. Um, so what I'm gonna do is after this, uh, after this uh, throw, um, I'm gonna cut to me spending all my rupees in this area here. So I guess we'll um, we'll upgrade on bombs again. We're only gonna upgrade on bombs right now. Um, so yeah, now we can carry 20. Awesome. So I'm actually gonna cut here, and you will see me outside of this little um, place in just a moment. Alrighty guys, as you can see, I have, um, now, um, you know, become broke. I have given her all my money, but in exchange, I have now managed to carry 35 bombs on me. So, our bomb troubles are over. We don't have to worry about running out of bombs anytime soon. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a swim here. Link is feeling pretty, you know, dry after, um, after giving away all his money. Watch out for the Zoro right there. Um, and I'm... I wonder what's under here. Can we go under? Yes, we can go under there. Awesome. And, hello, there's a homeless person in a tent with a fire sleeping. 
Can I put out your fire? No. Alright, so what does this guy have to say? Uh... Yo, Link! Oh, he seems to know me. Cool. You seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. We get the third magic bottle. Awesome! So we can uh, carry more goodies now. We've already gotten three bottles, just one more to go, and we're not going to get that for a while, actually. Um, so let's uh, let's head on back um, to um, uh, the sanctuary, because there's some uh, fun things. I'll just um, I'll just run back there. It's not all that you know, all that far, so I can just talk about random stuff. So. Um, yeah, people have, or, uh, someone's been saying, Hey, you're going through this game too fast, and, yeah, it might seem like I'm doing that, because I'm trying to, you know, find, like, the, um, uh, the most reliable route, which may not be the most reliable route, um, but, you know, the most reliable strategy to completing this game here. Uh, and it may seem like I'm going fast, but I'm just, you know, trying to make it easier on the viewers, and, you know, so people don't go running around to places where you think, Oh, it's useless now! Um... So that's why, you know, the exploration isn't, you know, huge at the moment, but it will become, uh, bigger later. Uh, so that's, that's all I really have to say about that. Um, so we're gonna head on up toward the sanctuary area, and let's smack this tree. You can actually get apples here. I don't think you can, uh, you can catch them, but with the net, I think, no, I guess it's the other one, but these will restore, uh, like, a couple of hearts, which is pretty nice. And down here, uh, if you strike this uh, bush right here, you can fall down a hole, of course. Um, and it leads to a, um, a little fairy fountain, so that's nice. If you need to stock up on hearts, just fall down there and you are good to go. And the door shuts behind you, so I don't know why they made that such a big secret, but... Oh, whatever. Alright, so, uh, instead of actually going to the sanctuary, we're going to do something a little bit different. Now, as you can see, I cannot pick these rocks up, sadly, which is a huge bummer, because uh, there's something pretty interesting in that uh, area there. So, you know, we can't get up there yet. I wonder how we get up there. Huh, we'll find out. So let's get rid of these pikemen. And now we'll ignore them. So, let's, um, let's uh, push on this grave here, and we can fall down this hole here. And we end up back under here, under the sanctuary, with all the rats that I couldn't kill. You are mine now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take the one rupee that he left. And we're gonna smack this wall with the Pegasus boots. You can break these walls with, uh, ah, shoot. Um, uh, with your boots and not just with bombs. So that's another nice way to, rest or to save on bombs. And we get three chests. We get ten arrows. 300 rupees, which is made up for a 900, you know, 99 that we just lost in this episode. And we get some bombs. Awesome. So let's, um, let's raid the rest of their stash here. Nothing right now. Uh, we are already at 308 rupees, which will, again, come in handy when we're trying to max out our stuff at the Waterfall of Wishing. And, ooh, that was like 30 rupees right there. Uh, yeah. We'll leave the rest of the rat for later. I'll show you what the switch, um, does in this upcoming room here. Oh, uh, we can, we can exterminate you guys. You've been exterminated. Uh, and I'll try to shoot you. My aim is off. Uh, can I hit you? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, money, money, money. Alright. Um, and we are back into this room here with the rats. So let's, uh, let's die. Yes, you can. You will die too. Thank you. And let's just pull this switch here, see what happens. And I just ran out of that. Oh, jeez. We have fallen. Or, we have not fallen, but these snakes have fallen upon us from uh, a trap door in the ceiling with snakes. But yeah, if you hit that switch, you know, a bunch of snakes will fall down. If you're low on health, that can be not a good thing, because these guys are pretty fast, and um, there's a lot of them. So, uh, let's open that switch over there, and we are right back over here. And that's all that we can, you know, do in that area, so you're not going to see me go down there anymore. Um, so let us, um, I think we're gonna make our way towards the, uh, final, uh, pendant right now. Ow. Um, but first, um, let's go this way. Well, this is the way, but we want to go over here. We can bash this pile of rocks and we can find the secret entrance. Awesome. So, let us, uh, continue here and we get a heart... I just spoiled that. Shoot. Well, we get a heart piece over here. Uh, this is heart piece number nine. Um, so, yeah, that, that'll help out in um, the near future. Um, let us, uh, I think we're actually going to head on to the place. We can't do anything else anymore. Um, sadly, you know, that involves a uh, side quest and whatnot. 
And let's... Oh, I'll show you something uh, with these guys. Uh, you can use the magic powder on these guys. and They're, you know, just blobs of whatever right now. But sprinkle them and they turn into some pretty ingenious things. Uh, you can talk to them by pressing the A button. Fra la 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 for Sarah. Alright, well we knew that already. Oh yeah, you found Sarah. Good job. La 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 dot 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 dot. And look for Sarah. Oh yeah. I look for Sarah. Oh yeah. Sarah. Alright, so that's all they say. And you still don't want to smack them with your sword because it will still hurt you. Alright, so let's, uh, we can get here unless we have the uh, power glove. So let's uh, head on, on into here. And this is Death, the entrance to Death Mountain, which we will conquer next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. You guys have an awesome day and take care.